Okay, um, in this video, I'm going to look at how to use the Moivre's theorem to work out uh, powers of uh, uh, complex numbers. Um, this video is going to focus on the examples whereby the argument theta uh, is uh, a special angle. Um, special angles are those angles for which the trigonometric... Uh, ratios can be found exactly um we're going to do another video the next one after this where we have got uh, uh complex numbers where the argument is not a special angle all right so uh, these are the examples we're going to look at um we're just going to start by uh giving a uh, summary of what the moivers uh, tells us so de Moivre's tells us that uh, uh, if we've got a complex number in uh, this uh, polar form or this abridged version cosine plus i sine theta then the nth power of this is obtained by raising r to the power n and multiplying the argument by n so that is the statement of de Moivre's so in example number a we have got uh, negative 1 minus i to the power 17. so the first thing i want to do is uh, we're going to want to express this complex number in polar form well um the x um, of uh, this complex number is uh, negative 1 and the y um, is also negative 1. So that's just the uh, uh, real and the imaginary parts. So this is telling us that uh, this complex number is in quadrant uh, number 3. Um, so if we make a sketch of this, it's uh, going to look something like this. Okay, this is negative 1 here and this is negative 1. So that means we have got uh, an isosceles right triangle. So straight away that is going to be 45 degrees. So that means the uh, argument, we can find it uh, straight away without calculation. So that is our theta. So theta is going to be... Uh, remember this is 180 degrees it's going to be 180 degrees plus 45 degrees so theta is 225 and then the modulus is uh, going to be by Pythagoras the opposite squared plus the adjacent squared this is 1 plus 1 so it's going to be square root 2. So that means uh, negative 1 minus i is going to be r, which is root 2, cis 225. And then in this question, we want to raise this to the power of 17. So raise this to the power of 17. So that means we are going to, we raise r to the power of 17. We multiply the argument by 17. Okay. Um, so square root 2 to the power of 17 we can write as square root 2 to the power 16 times square root 2. 17 times 225 is going to be 3825. Um, square root 2 to the power 16 is 2 to the power 8. Um, so this is the same as 2 to the power 8 square root 2 then we expand this so it's going to be cosine 
3825 plus i sine 3825. And then we can punch this in the calculator. Uh, 2 to the power 8 is 256. Okay. Then, uh, so we've got cosine 3825. Um, so cosine 38 uh, five. Okay, that is negative 1 over root 2. So negative 1 over root 2. Then sine of the same thing. Uh, sine 3825. 3825. No, three eight two five. It's uh, the same as the cosine, mm, so it's going to be minus i over root two, and then now we can see that the root twos will cancel out. So this is going to be negative two five six into one plus i. So that is going to be our final answer there okay then going to part b in part b we've got one over one minus i root three to the power five so in part b we have got uh, one over one minus i a root three to the power five which we can write as one minus i a root three to the power negative five so the moivus works even if uh, you have got uh, a negative uh, index there remember it works so long as that power is a real number so this time the first thing we're going to want to do is to write one minus i root three in polar form the so x is one the y is negative root 3 so that tells us that uh, we have got a complex number in the fourth quadrant a complex number in the fourth quadrant this is 1 this is negative root 3 so that means r is going to be the square root of 1 squared plus negative root 3 squared it's going to be the square root of 1 plus 3 square, square root of 4 so r is going to be 2 then theta is just uh, this angle here um, so that's just going to be given by the inverse tangent of y over x Okay, so this is going to be negative 60. Um, you can use uh, 300 if you like. Um, so, what this is telling us is that uh, 1 minus i root 3 is 2 cis negative 60. So, 1 minus i root 3 to the power negative 5 then we'll simply raise this to the power negative 5 as well because that's what we have here then by de Moivre's, uh this is going to be 2 to the negative 5 cis negative 5 times negative 60 so that's 1 over 2 to the power 5 CIS uh, 300 then um, so we're just going to do um, this is 2 to the power 5 not 25 so we're just going to do uh, 2 to the power 5 is 32 so this is just going to be cosine 300 plus I sine 300 
um, so well what is uh, cosine 300 so cosine 300 is one half then sine 300 it's going to be negative root 3 on 2 so minus i root 3 on 2 so this thing is going to be 1 over 64 factor out the 1 half 1 minus i root 3 so that is going to be our final answer and then for um, C, C uh, involves uh, two expressions uh, that are similar to what we have in A and B. Uh, so in C, we have got that to the power 10 and then the other one to the power 8. So minus 1 minus I to the power 10 mm. then we've got 1 minus i a root 3 to the power 8 however um so this 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 complex number here um we have already expressed in polar form in a this one we've done so in b so we're just going to make use of uh, our calculations from there. So what's going to happen is this one we already saw that it is square root 2 CIS 225 here. Okay. So CIS 225. This time we are raising it to the power 10. This other one is 2 times CIS negative 60. We are raising it to the power of 8. Okay. So then we apply the Moivers in the numerator and apply the Moivers in the denominator. So we're going to have 2 to the power 5 because the square root 2 to the power 10 maybe let's just write this as a square root 2 to the power 10 cis 2 to 5 degrees times 10 then here we have got 2 to the power 8 cis 8 times negative 60 degrees so this is going to be 2 to the power 5 cis 2 2 5 0 divided by 2 to the power 8 cis 8 times 6 is uh, 48 so it's going to be negative 480 and then as far as division of uh, numbers in polar form we divide the uh, moduli so it's going to be 1 over 2 to the power 3 the arguments we subtract so here we're going to have 2 2 5 0 minus negative 480 degrees which becomes a plus so it's going to be 1 over 8 cis that works out to 2730. Um, and then we simply punch that in the calculator. Um, plus I sign 2730. So this is going to be uh, cosine 2730. 2730. is uh, negative root 3 on 2 and uh, sine is uh, negative a uh, half so this thing is going to be minus 1 over 16 uh, root 
3 plus i. Alright, so that is uh, a, b, and uh, c. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to ask you to have a go at uh, the other 3, d, e, and f. So just uh, these ones here. Uh, pause the video, uh, just work through them. And then uh, when you continue the video, you can compare with our solutions. All right, uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solutions for D, E, and F. Um, we would like to appreciate uh, you for coming to our channel and uh, watching this video. We hope that our material is uh, uh, useful to you. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe uh, and uh, support our channel. And if you've got any questions, we'd like to hear um, them. Please post them in the comment section and uh, please do like the video and share accordingly. Right, so in D, um, the, if we write uh, this complex number in coordinate form, it works out to that, which means we've got a number in the second quadrant. So the uh, modulus or R is just going to be the square root uh, of negative 3 squared plus 1 squared under root so that's going to give us 2 and then the inverse tan of y over x always gives us uh, this uh, angle uh, the um, uh, the interior angle of the right angle triangle here which is always going to give us a uh, an acute angle um, but uh, theta is this angle here so if we call this one phi uh, phi works out to negative 30 and so theta is going to be 180 minus 30 uh, we express this uh, in radians this time and work throughout everything in radians so that means this number is 2 si is 5 pound 6 uh, raised 2 to the power 15 multiply the angle by 15 gives us uh, these two numbers then uh, expand this uh, and then uh, evaluate the sign and the cos then that means uh, that number is a purely imaginary number then if we do the same thing in e this tells us that the number is in the first quadrant so this time uh, this angle is uh, our argument actually it works out to 60 or pound 3 the radial distance works out to 1 so this one of uh, these to the power 40 is the same as the same thing to the power minus 40 uh, then we apply the movers here so it means we're going to raise one to the power negative 40 which is one multiply this by negative 40 and uh, then we punch this in the calculator and there we go and then in f we have already worked this out uh, and it worked out to 2 CIS 150 degrees. We're raising it to the power 6 this time. This one is just the previous exercise. CIS 60. Uh, there. We're raising it to the power 10. So multiply this by 10. Multiply 150 by 6. We get 900. Then we subtract these two and then we evaluate in the calculator and uh, just simplify a bit that gives us our final answer all right thank you